Prosecutors have charged the man suspected of shooting Officer Burton with attempted murder, unlawful firearm possession by a serious violent felon, as well as several drug charges. Philip Lee was just released from prison on New Year's Eve after serving three and a half years on drug charges. His brother Mike tells us Lee was struggling with life outside of prison and has been locked up for most of his life. WRTV investigates found in a 2018 case against Lee. Wayne County prosecutors offered Lee a plea agreement and dismissed the unlawful firearm possession charge against him. Our Kara Kenny found most criminal cases in Indiana are resolved through plea agreements. She spoke with a law professor about why that's the case. Why are so many cases in Indiana resolved through a plea agreement? Plea bargaining actually serves a number of really good purposes. Uh, first of all, uh, defendants avoid the time and expense of hiring a lawyer. They often avoid harsher punishment. Uh, they often avoid publicity. The prosecution saves tax dollars by getting a conviction uh, and avoiding a lengthy trial. Do you think the general public would be shocked to learn that very few criminal cases are actually resolved through a jury trial? Most people in the public believe that there are a lot of criminal trials, that most cases are resolved through criminal trial, and that simply isn't the case. The vast majority are resolved by plea bargains just for the interest of both the defendant and the state. If we did not have plea bargaining, the criminal justice system would just bog down and lawyers and defendants and prosecutors would all be overwhelmed. What are the downsides to plea agreements? Uh, victims' rights groups might feel that the defendant is actually not being charged with all of the possible charges or not being charged with the most important charges or perhaps pleading guilty to a lesser offense. It might seem logical in hindsight that had the plea agreement not been pursued, that this person would still be in jail. And there's simply no way of knowing. Juries could acquit on those charges uh, and they often do.